Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at something that's really gained a lot of traction in the classic Apple product YouTuber scene, Sorbet Leopard. Sorbet Leopard is a project that aims to create a new version of Mac OS X for aging PowerPC Macs. It has a bunch of new features and optimizations that are missing from the last version of Mac OS X to be available for these devices officially. Now, of course Sorbet Leopard won't make your old PowerPC Mac match a modern machine, but it will still help you to use it here and now in the current year, nearly two decades after these machines were last produced. I think that it's seriously impressive that a community was able to fight planned obsolescence this well. Despite how impressive this operating system is, however, there isn't really a good formal straight to the point review of it yet. So, guess what we're going to do in today's video? Indeed, we're going to be making a review of Sorbet Leopard, right now on the Linux Lounge. Now, according to the developers of this operating system, there are over 70 changes present in it that weren't present in the last official version of Mac OS X for PowerPC. That is a seriously impressive number of updates. One of those updates is that Sorbet Leopard is actually kind of a hybrid operating system. It's based on the last official version of Mac OS X for PowerPC, Mac OS X Leopard, but it also incorporates elements from a cancelled beta of Snow Leopard for PowerPC Max. As such, there are updated applications, features, wallpapers, and more included as a result of this operating system having a lot of elements from that cancelled beta. Another feature of Sorbet Leopard is that it is heavily optimised for PowerPC and boasts multiple performance improvements over Leopard. Binaries for Intel machines have been removed and everything has just been overall streamlined. This performance boost isn't minor either. Even in my PowerPC virtual machine, I noticed that everything was significantly faster than with Leopard. This operating system really will breathe new life into old PowerPC machines. Another cool feature of Sorbet Leopard is that there are a bunch of tools installed out of the box that'll really let you fine tune your system. You can change finder settings, change spotlight settings, enable support for the Apple Magic Keyboard and mouse, and more. Really there's all sorts of stuff that you can configure here and I think that's really neat. In fact, in the tools section you'll find one of Sorbet Leopard's coolest features. There are some themes that you can install to make the operating system look like either Mountain Lion or High Sierra, two newer versions of Mac OS X than what this is based on. It's a fun little gimmick even if it isn't 100% accurate, though do just be aware that this is a one-way thing. Once you've installed the theme, there's no way to uninstall it as far as I can tell, which is fairly annoying and something that I think needs to be fixed. Finally, I want to talk about my personal favourite feature of Sorbet Leopard, the Sorbet App Store. Now, you can download and install this separately, but it comes included by default with Sorbet Leopard, so I definitely have to talk about it here. Essentially, this app allows you to easily download old versions of Mac software that's compatible with PowerPC machines. The catalogue is actually really impressive. You have modern web browsers, old versions of Apple's iLife and iWork suites, old versions of the Adobe suite, games, emulators, and so much more. Being able to easily access all this software really does add a lot of utility to these older Apple devices. My only gripes with this otherwise awesome program is that it seems to frequently time out when loading other pages. Also, it doesn't yet support automatically downloading and installing software, you still have to go to the page that the program sends you to and manually download and install the software that you want. Still though, this program alone revolutionises the experience of using an ageing PowerPC machine. For the purposes of testing, I actually did download and try to run some software on Sorbet Leopard. First, I grabbed Audacity since it's a program that I like and use a lot. Sure, the version of Audacity that I tried was a very old version, but it seemed to work pretty well. I also tried out LibreOffice to see how well that had worked, and sure enough, despite being an older version, that seemed to work pretty well too. All in all, 
I'd say that you'll probably find applications to perform most general tasks in this app store. Sure, you're not going to have a lot of newer social media apps and that kind of thing, but if we're talking about performing basic tasks like browsing the web or consuming media or something else like that, then you'll probably be fine. But there we go then, that's pretty much all I have to say about Sorbet Leopard. Overall, I really like it and I think that it adds a lot to the Mac OS X experience on these older machines. I really do think that it can make it usable in the modern age. Now, if you have one of these PowerPC Macs, I still think that you would be best served by one of the many Linux distros that support PowerPC, since those distributions are going to be compatible with new software, whereas Sorbet Leopard isn't. But if Linux isn't your cup of tea for whatever reason, then this is definitely an option for sure. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.